So neuroscientist is delivering a lecture on the electrophysiology of the brain. He asked about neuroreceptor which act as ion channel in the neuron. He mentions a specific receptor which is both voltage gated and ligand gated ion channel. Which of the following receptor is most likely to be the one mentioned by the neuroscientist? GABA A receptor, glycine receptor, NMDA, nicotinic acetylcholine, and AM AMPA, AMPA. Next is the NMDA receptor. That's the answer. They were asking which ion channel is both ligand and the voltage gated. So basically, these ion channels, they can be either gated or ungated. Ungated ones, they're always going to be open. And like our potassium channel, the leaky channel. The gated ones, we have either ligand gated, where a ligand has to bind to it for it to open and close, and a voltage gated, where the membrane potential is going to either open or close that particular um, channel. So our ligand gated examples would be nicotinic acetylcholine receptor, so like the option here, then AMPA receptors as well, GABA A receptor. So these all are, um, they need a ligand to bind to them for them to open and close. Whereas um, voltage gated, they need the membrane potential for them to regulate their opening and closing channel. So those are our ion channel, like your sodium channel, your potassium channel. NMDA is actually a cation channel. It has uh, both ligand and voltage gated activity because ligand, as you all know, that's going to be glutamate. And then voltage, it's the magnesium that normally blocks it. Whenever it gets partially depolarized is what opens that channel up, causing calcium influx. So that's why NMDA is the answer here. And glycine is again, it's a ligand gated channel. Thanks for watching. Please give a thumbs up and subscribe for more.